let's talk about two different methods that you can use to figure out the start page. Because let's face it, if you've done this at all, uh, you might realize that finding a book with the exact number of pages you need that matches the number of pages identified in the pattern uh, is not always easy. And you often end up with a book that has more pages than needed, which is totally fine. But if you don't learn to adjust where to start your pattern, if you just start on page one of the book, then you might find that your final image is unbalanced in terms of where it actually ends up across the space of your book. You might find that it's it's closer to the front of the book, closer to the back of the book, and that it's not, the extra pages aren't balanced before and after the design. So what you want to be able to do is figure out what, what is the best page to start on so your design is balanced between the covers of the book. So the first method I'm going to show you is what I learned uh, by watching other people. And then I'll show you a second method that works if the number of extra pages is is close to what you need. So if the size of the book is close to the pattern. The first method I'm going to show you would work for any book, um, and it might actually be more helpful if you end up with a book that is way longer than the number of required pages. So every pattern you get should identify a couple of key details that you need to know. One is the number of pages, and with this pattern, that's actually the numerical number of pages. That's not, not the number of, of sheets of paper in the book. That's the number of numbered pages. Some patterns identify the number of leaves you need, which is the actual like, pa like papers in the book. So it would be like half that number. Okay, But this is the number of actual numbered pages, so 315 for this pattern. And then it will also tell you the height of the book that you need. That does not affect... Uh, this process of the start page, but just be aware that that's another detail that's kind of important if you want your image to fit on your chosen book. All right, so the first method I'm going to show you looks a little something like this. Um, you have, you know, a book that you have found that you think might work for this pattern, and you flip to the back, and you find the last numbered page. No extras. All right, so the last numbered, the last odd numbered page, and my cat is trying to join us here, is 335. So on my pattern, I would write down, oh my goodness, and there she goes, my cat. Um, I would write down 335. Okay, but that is probably not all the pages in the book. So now I need to count how many extra pages there are. So, and remember, I'm counting numbered pages if they were to be numbered. So this is one sheet or one leaf, but it's two pages. So that would be two, four, and I don't count this back, um, like, back cover uh Page. It's a little thicker paper. It's not a page that I would fold. So there's two, four extra pages at the back. So I'm going to add four. So as of right now, I have 339. Okay. But there could also be extra pages at the front before page one. So now I have to go to the front. Two. So this is numerically page one. But I have all these extra pages here. So remember, each of these sheets is two pages. So that would be two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. All right, so I've got another twelve extra pages at the front of the book. So my total number of extra pages. I'm sorry, my total number of pages in the book is 351, okay? Now, my pattern only needs 315. So, 351 total, and I'm going to minus 315, okay? Okay. 
So there are 36 extra uh, book pages or, or sides. And since each of these, it takes two of these pages to equal one sheet, I'm then going to divide 36 by two. And you probably figured out that just equals 18, right? So there's 18 extra pages, 18 extra sheets total. Now I want to divide that between the front of the book and the back of the book so that my design is centered in between those extra pages. So if I have 18 extra leaves total, that means that I want to have nine at the front and nine at the back. Okay. So then I'd go back to my book. There's, there's that front leaf page, that's that thicker paper. So I need nine pages, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I would put a mark because that means this is actually gonna be my first page. That's gonna be my first design page. All of these extra pages are just that, they're extra. Now, just to make sure that I did this correctly, I would also go to the back and I'd count my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these would be the extra pages at the back, meaning these pages would be the ones I need for my design. And if I do the math, page 322 minus seven, does that equal 315? The number of pages I need for my design it does. So using this mathematical method where I add up all of the total pages in the book and then subtract the pages I need from that and then evenly distribute them between the front and back, that tells me my starting page. Okay. Now, if, for example, there were a lot of extra pages in the book, this method would be best. You do all the number math first, um, and you, you don't have to do a lot of page flipping with this one. Now, the method, the other method that I tend to use, because I, I tend to try to find books that are close to the number of pattern pages. I, I tend to keep a lot of books on hand. I go to um, secondhand or used bookstores, and I, I tend to get a lot of books at once that I know um, could be used, could work. So the other method that I do is I go, okay, I need 315 pages. So I would actually find page 315 in the book. So I know that if I were to start on page one, which is right here, if I were to start on page one, this would be my design, okay? So what I need to check is to see if the number of extra pages here at the back is similar to the number of pages at the front. So I would just do a quick count. I would go, okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six here and then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve at the back so that's 18 extra pages total right six from the front 12 from the back so again if i want to make it even what i would do is say, okay, well, half, you know, 18 total, half of that is nine. I've already got six pages here, so let's add one, two, three extra to the front. Let's lose one, two, three extra from the back. So I just, essentially, I just shifted my design a little further into the book by three pages. So I have three fewer extras here at the back, and I have three more extras at the front. So now if I double check my count, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pages extra at the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine extra at the back. So my extra pages are now evenly distributed before and after the design and it still got me starting on the page I figured out using the mathematical method um, in the first half of this video. So again, the point of this is just so you know where to start so that your design is evenly uh, balanced between the front cover and the back cover. In those cases when you have a book that is bigger than what you need for the pattern. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, drop them in the comments below and I will address them as best I can. So happy folding.